Hey Leute, willkommen zurück zu Dangan Rumper. Wir haben in den letzten Part in die zweite Ebene geschafft. Und jetzt sind wir in die Library. Und da gibt es einen Streit. Your writing doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Someone could just burn it. Should just burn it all. Oh, the Lady Dove protests too much. Me thinks. I bet you're secretly into boy on boy action. <laughs> boy on boy? I don't care if, if, if it's anime or comics or fan fiction or whatever. <laughs> I'm telling you! It's all filth, throwaway culture that'll be trash and forgotten in half a decade. Yeah. Uh, just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> you've insulted me, and you've insulted my honor. These two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, ne, wir haben hier noch eine Sache. The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. Okay, das ist genau das Gleiche. Sonst haben wir gar nichts mehr. Ne. Dann gehen wir mal wieder. Wir haben ja sowieso noch einen Raum, oder? Ja, halt nochmal ein Klassenzimmer. Und noch die um Umkleiden. Reality isn't everything. Ja, ich glaube, ich muss das hier mit interagieren müssen, oder? Ja, gute Frage. Was machen wir jetzt? Na ja, gut, wir sollten, glaube ich, erstmal die Umkleiden. So, die Umkleiden sind hier. <lacht> ich wollte gerade schon sagen. Ah, hier geht's auch zum Schwimmbereich. Deshalb die Umkleide, ja. Äh. Äh. Just a second. Ähm. Ich habe Fragen. Oh, Makoto, hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool. There's a pool here. A, a pool, 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 pool. You don't have to keep repeating it. I got okay. it. There's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. Stimmt, ja. Ich hab echt Fragen. Warum? Is that a real gun? It's not like we're at war here. Why would we need something like that here? Hey Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um... No, I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you do seem like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. But, But still, it sounds like the locker room suite here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd kind of like to get a little stronger. Wanna get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not even brave enough to step foot into the locker room. Hmm? You don't even want to go in the locker um. room? It, it's not that I don't want to, it's just... I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia, though. <laughs> the second floor has opened up. The living area has grown and a number of facilities that are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit, things have been made much, made much more comfortable Do for you us. Understand? Ich verstehe, ja. If things continue like this, the essential class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> okay, die wird 100 Pro irgendwann auch ein Killer sein. Looks like one of those lifestyle flotation donuts. There are a bunch of different pool related items on the shelf. A surveillance camera even here we're being watched? Behind this door is the locker room. Yeah! Oh and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of course! Really, really? <laughs> What comes dead in here? If you want to unlock her the locker room, 
you'll have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card reader next to the uh -huh. door. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open a boy's locker room, and the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. What? What if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? Anyone who commits such such tendency will be punished without mercy for this sandalious sexual depravity. Da had die knarre. See, there's a Gatling gun mounted to the ceiling, right? It'll be all duka 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 duka. Just a second. I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. I don't know, I think it'd be a little worse than that. Mm. What happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? <gasps> but that never e that never even occurred to me. To think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Das ist noch nie Frage. Dann ist es nicht das erste Mal, dass sowas hier stattfindet, so ein Spiel. Okay, dann hast du es Time for a new rule. As of this moment, lo loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. <laughs> there, so nobody can gift their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% top. Honestly. I did not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in, out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything the person might do using the handbook. So, um... But you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security of stuff. Of course! It's cause all you teenagers are sex crazed maniacs. You're at that age. You'd be tr you'd tr you'd try humping a plastic bottle. So, to keep anything un unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous rot. <laughs> In that case, I would ask you, ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man and some women decide to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school Disgusting. itself. I don't care what happens in your private dorms. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. Just the worst. I hate you so much. See ya later! Okay, so the new regulate... So the new rule is now in place. See ya. <sighs> man, it's super bad to totally ruin my mood. Maybe I'll go take a take a dip to cheer you myself up. Celeste, so Tihiro, you wanna come with As me? For me? There's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'll pass this time. <gasps> How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea what's on the second floor. If I didn't see anything, it might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. What would you like to teleportiert? Listen to me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how did it go? Did anyone else, did anyone discover any interesting new anything? Yes, indeed. There's a library. Okay. And a pool, a freaking pool and locker rooms filled with ex ex exercise equipment. Well. There was not, however, anything resembling an exit route. Yeah, she's right. I see. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. Quiet down and listen. The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much, it's insane. <laughs> so go ahead and stuff yourself to the to the gills whenever you feel like. Are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, that going out at, out in nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, and what about a fucking way out of here? You find anything like that? <laughs> oh well, um. What? There wasn't what? anything in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here. Nothing. Uh, unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. Hey, come on. Oh, you fucking what? people. Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now, or a warehouse, or? Whatever the fuck. Stop fucking around! We're still trapped in this piece of shit at school. We need to find a goddamn way out. <laughs> Der magst du fluchen. No, no. There's no point in taking your anger out on, on, out on us. Adaptation is the key, yes? For now we must each find a way uh, find a way to enjoy your current situation. You piece of... Whatever you say, a fucking loon. <laughs> For now, let's just... 
continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should discover something. So then. So are we done for today? Yeah. Well, well, yes, I guess so. The air seemed to suddenly grow heavily again. Was this the mastermind's plan to give us hope, just to turn around and betray that hope? It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug fight. We all promise not to leave our rooms during night time. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll just go to bed. Mr. Manakuma, Mr. Manakuma, do you have a second? Ah, I, I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby. I can say I'm super good at... And my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay, not great, not awful. I could get into a decent, decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy pa copy paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? This theater is immer noch fucking weird. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Oh, that's right! I wanted to let you know that your e handbooks have been updated! New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before! The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. You must be referring to yesterday's loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly pro prohibited. But right now I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. Yeah, er meint einfach nur die Regel, oder? Moment. Ja, lass uns hier rausgehen. Muss ich direkt in die Dining Hall, weil ich würde eigentlich gerne jetzt endlich zu dieser Maschine wieder gehen. Ja, okay. Gibt's mal wieder irgendwann Free Time? Hey, Makoto. Good morning, is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. Nope, still waiting Byakuya and Taka. Byakuya is no surprise, but it's strange Taka isn't here yet. <laughs> Knowing Taka, I imagine he's... He's trying to get the king of tardiness up and out of bed. Mm. Also, I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there's one problem, which is... <sighs> I am thirsty. Hey, come on! How the hell is this a problem? <laughs> You fool me, would you make me some tea? Hmm? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well... Why me? Let's see... Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out quickly, please. Oh. Um. Uh, okay. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's offer, he fool me shocked his way into the kitchen. And a few minutes later... Thank you for waiting. Hifumi reappeared with tray in, with tray in hand. 
gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> you, you could have made some for the rest of us, you know. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. <laughs> I am technically de de declined. You're not my type at all. <laughs> it's all about the law of casualty. Crush Basic instinct. Act and react. Well, then, if you don't mind. A small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Oh. Wait. She cocked her hand. She cocked her head to the side. And threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Wow. What? Hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? I hate this kind of tea. Um, I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine we're at a coffee shop, just any normal everyday cafe. Cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. They, they then ask me, would you like lemon or milk? No further imagination did I reply. Ah, yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk. Yes. <sighs> But this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be a part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly sweet that that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like juicing your fries in ketchup. American dim diamonds. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. <laughs> And I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reactions to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Um. I went to all that trouble to make you that tea, and you wanted me to go even far farther? <gasps> yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle, even in cafes that offer proper milk tea. It is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... <laughs> why even bother creating a menu if you are not going to offer the highest level of quality? Well, um, we don't actually have a menu. You little bitch! <laughs> that does not matter. Hurry up and bring me what I asked you. Ask for, swine. Say what? Okay, your little pig will bring it right <laughs> out. I do love cursing. Huh? You were like a totally different person just now. <laughs> shit. Yeah, shit, you really went psycho there. <laughs> I knew there was more to her when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man. She's one scary chick. The dining hall door f doors flew open. And one of, the l one of the late arrivals came storming in. But... <laughs> Bad news, everyone. This is a Mysterio foot. Huh? What happened? <clears throat> it would seem Byakuya refuses to leave in his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't I there. Think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that? He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. Neola? It might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Listen to me. I was just about to su suggest the same thing. What's your problem? Stop trying to one-up everyone. Um. Okay, then I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button until I get a well, response. Uh, Very well. And the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um. Yeah, before it's, <laughs> you know, too late. Anyway, we have to just do our best to find Byakuya. So where might Byakuya have gone? Maybe he went to go check out the second floor of the school again. Na guck mal da doch mal gerade nach. Hey, 
Okay. So he thought to, to come here too. Huh? So... If you think about what Byaku, Byakuya was so interested in yesterday, you could probably guess where he is right now, right? Or was it Byakuya was interested in again? Die Bücherei vielleicht? Da war er nämlich drin, zumindest. So, hallo. Um, oh, hey Makoto. So, did you find Byakuya? Uh, I'm sorry. No, I didn't see him anywhere. I see. But... Somehow Kyoko figured out where he might be. You know? Kyoko's so amazing. She's so cool, she's smart, and she seems really tough. She's definitely smart, that's for sure, but tough? Compared to, say, Sakura or even Hina, she doesn't seem all that different from Chihiro. Is it weird to compare them like that? Aww. Oh. I opened the door to the library and locked in s and looked inside. I cried out in sudden surprise. Oh nein. Byakuya? Ernsthaft? <laughs> er, er sitzt einfach nur da und liest? Of all the things that I'd imagined, this most definitely wasn't one of them. Hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Yakuya snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Yo! Yakuya, so this is where you have been hiding? <sighs> the heck are you doing here, man? Mm -hmm. We're very concerned. <laughs> well, yet no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. Well, what are you reading? A mystery novel. Well. Wait, wait, so are you gonna use what you're learning in there to portray us? <laughs> Don't be stupid. Yeah, which is something to keep in mind. Yeah, wha true. what? If I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> it's not often you get to take part in such a high stakes, high tension activity. So if you're going if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. His words sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn you! What the fuck do you mean game? That's fucked up. <laughs> but it is a game. It's a game of life or death. Which can have only one winner can have only one winner. That's all there is to it. <sighs> he is right. It's zero sum game. Are you okay with this? It is a part of game theory. A mathematical model. In game theory in game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I mean like a kind of elimination match. Actually. Entrance exams, sport tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Uh, ich versuch die ganze diesen scheiß Akzent nachzumachen, aber es geht einfach nicht. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited for you to succeed. Someone else must fall. This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here. In this case... Okay? Stamm so an. A limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become the Glycan. So in other words... So this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others? That, that can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> oh, that's not my code, it's like, oops. This, this is why it adapted adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? 
Why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. His smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. <sighs> it sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose, am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> You do not speak like the others, exactly what I would expect from the Togami, Takami here apparent. <sighs> it's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second! You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't, it simply isn't possible. You son of a bitch! Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> you know, I still just can't believe it. What? Believe what? <laughs> but in Uneducated brain that useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. Piece of shit! I'm gonna fucking kill you. Don't make me repeat myself. Like I said, I won't die. <sighs> you keep saying that, but do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent prodigy. Prodigy, after all, a boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny, his destiny, and has lived life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life life and death situation. <laughs> is, is that not so, Yakuya? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? Is it because I'm the same as you? Games are meant to be won. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close. Close to avoid your mouth of yours. Oh. Well, well, I do apologize. <laughs> Anyway, let me just say this to all of you. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it their best, where's the fun for me? No. Th that's a terrible way to looking at it. To look what? at it. It's because this, this isn't a game. Our lives are on the line. You know, to kill your own friends is is. That's horrific. <laughs> friends? Who decided that? Huh? <laughs> We're not friends. No. Quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. Und ich muss die Folge beenden. Dann sehen wir uns hier beim nächsten Mal bei Dengan Rumpa und ciao.